This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. In Lecture 2, you'll see the first of two CGT reliefs that allow gains that have arisen as a result of a disposal to be deferred. This, therefore, is not going to change the tax rate. That will be a function of the asset being disposed of and whether or not entrepreneur's relief is available and then whether or not you're a basic rate band uh, taxpayer or you are a higher rate taxpayer from your income tax computation. But here, once again, on the disposal of what will be defined as a qualifying business asset, gains that arise in relation to such assets will be able to be deferred. So we'll not be exempting the gain. What we'll be doing is to allow the tax paper to defer the gain till a future point in time. Now, what event may then crystallise the uh, capital gain and therefore the CGT liability on that particular asset? Well, that's what you'll do dealing with within Lecture 2. The first of these reliefs is known as rollover relief. And again, will be applicable to a qualifying business asset but are specifically defined for this relief. Again, like with all of the reliefs, they're not just handed out irrespective of whatever it is that is being sold. It has to be an asset that qualifies for that particular relief. In entrepreneur's relief, it was qualifying business assets. It is also here in Lecture 2, dealing with rollover relief, qualifying business assets. But they will have their own separate definition, as regards what we mean by qualifying business assets for this relief to apply. Now again, here the lectures are the same as they used for FA 2017 because there are no changes in the rules, in the techniques that apply. The only difference that you will see is in the transaction dates that occur within the examples where in the FA 2018 material it will be disposals taking place within the 1819 tax year Whereas in the FA 2017 lecture that you're about to see, of course, the disposal will be taking place in the 1718 tax year. But I repeat, there are no changes in the rules. So follow the lecture through using the examples as per the lecture as it shows, but then quickly reworking the example from your FA 2018 material to make sure that you do indeed have no such problems with that particular issue. Again, therefore, I'll leave you now to uh, enjoy the content of Lecture 2 and dealing, as I say, with the first of two reliefs that you'll see that allow gains to be deferred. Here, rollover relief.